after putting a power cord on this thing and plugging it in, the motor in it, in fact, does work. And that's one thing I will brag about these Sangamo motors about. They very rarely don't work. Thankfully, they're wonderful motors. And it'd be wonderful if they still made them. But they don't. Most of the time, the problem with them is, if they're not running seemingly, if you plug them in and you hear a humming noise, that means the coil is generally good in them. So you can still use them. You just have to clean them and relubricate them. And there's a little... sets in on the movement too and you have to clean that out too just peg it out with a toothpick then put you some new lubricant in it where obviously that pivot will have something smooth to write on so yeah let me see if i can't get this other movement i have that had a sangamo motor and show you what i'm talking about let me get it here I'm talking about this brass cup right there. And there's where the pivot end rides in. So, yeah. And then inside the motor, there's a hole that has to be cleaned out too. And a little bit of oil put in too. But other than that, they're really not that complicated. So, I'll show you my cord job that I put on here. I did it the proper way. I'll explain how somebody had done it when I got it in a second. But that's how I did it. That's the well the correct way to do it. Not having to change much. And to explain how somebody had did it before they had just taken a cord and loosely wrapped the ends of it, the copper wire around those two screws and screwed it down that way. That would work, but it's most sketchy to me, so I changed it into what you see now. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.